Hello my friends, welcome to this new stream of the long dark. Now now it's been called Tales from the Far Territories from the beginning because it is the DLC mode and we will come to this Far Territory eventually rather sooner than later, but please understand that um, so far we're still in Broke Railroad trying to gather up some resources. Uh, some of these pretty important for crafting your arrows. Um, especially today I'm gonna go hunt for birch saplings because I know where there are some in Broken Railroad I've only seen it in videos um, I haven't been to this part of the map before so I'm pretty excited to see how things will be going. So, off we go. Continue survival mode. I have a sip of coffee. Looks like I need it for another night. First of all, oh, it actually is day 8 plus. I have not made a mistake. <laughs> but joy or oh joy, this has never happened today, the long dark. It has just crashed. So I might just use this time to apply my allergy nose spray. Be right back. So, hopefully that will put an end to it, but we'll see about that. So, next attempt. Looks like a new day is dawning. I'm gonna leave these here for the time being, as well as this. So, how many torches do we have? Not so many, I'm afraid to say. How much we packing? Well, pretty much we're still packing. So 
so can we leave something behind? Let's figure that out. Like this ragged toque, for example. Yeah, definitely not going to use that. That's a flock of birds. Flogging about. Alright, it really, it is, honestly, it is pretty cold. through here? I think we can, right? keep going just keeping in mind that I really think there might be a wolf somewhere around here and I think I can already see the first birch sapling too joy oh joy Let's have a look. Can we go up here? Well, apparently we can. There's actually two birch saplings. Nice. Sorry if I'm still sniffing away. The allergies. It comes back every night when I drive home from work. And these last couple of days, I have not been able to keep it at bay with with the regular deals of no spray. at 11%. It's 
still damn cold. Yeah, that was a brief moment. of delay Okay, still no wolf. So far, so good. Rickety footbridge. Feel like commemorating this moment. Ah, suddenly it's 10 degrees warmer. Still, hypothermia is getting a serious problem here. This is a safe spot against wolves. There's a way back down here. That's neat. That's really neat. Now that definitely was a wolf. But I still do feel like we should investigate. <laughs> Food really shouldn't be our primary concern here.
Alright, so you could also go down here, apparently. There's deer carcass over there. <sighs> Alright. I think we are almost done here. I don't think this is going on for much further anymore. to light torch well at least you're being honest so we'll have to rely on the firearm here but that's fine with me now here's a hidden cache Whoa! Jackpot! So we came with for birch saplings, and birch saplings is what we got. Cured ones, even. That is a really, really, really neat thing to find. Especially in this stage of the game. Think about how many arrows we can craft with these. If... It's a big if, but... If we can procure... Enough arrowheads somehow. Because I only have like two so far. All right, so we are right back here. That is a neat way to get up there. There it really is. Probably even manage to get around the wolf somehow. But I didn't bring the rope, did I? Nope. So yeah, it would be a nice way to go up here. Alright, so... That's it for our little raid. Up. Oh, totally forgot about the hypothermia. So we're just gonna make a fire right here. Procure the deer hide here. Drag it back with us with all the other stuff. Come on, little fire. Birch saplings, namely. And then, uh, well, yeah. We have some procuring to do.
Well, I could have cooked some water in the meantime, so I've kind of squandered that opportunity. But we can still do it. Five more minutes. Oh, thermia is coming along while well, it's not healed. But hey. Alright, so I'm just gonna add some more fuel. That's how a real man do it. Lots of torches in the making. Kaza, we can take one more, right? We should be good. Oh, perfect. Gonna leave the guts right here, or am I? No. I'm gonna take the guts with me. Twenty minutes with hunting now, that's fine. The only thing I'm regretting is that the fire actually ran out because the wind set in. That wouldn't be too bad standing for it alone. But we still do have a long way to go. And unfortunately torches won't warm us up. Yeah, Wolfies, I heard you the first time. I know you're there. I know you're grim. So this hypothermia has worn us down pretty... pretty rough. There's the riggedy foot bridge. Mm. 
wouldn't snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. So just theoretically, do these little pieces of wood, do they spawn faster when it's windy? The Golden's Cairn, whatever that's supposed to mean. Oh, luckily I picked the right one. So we are almost back at our cave. So we're gonna... Hypothermia is created! Are you for real? Huh. Now that came totally unexpected. struggle for love and inclusion. Oh, whatever, whatever you say. But love and inclusion do sound like two goals worth fighting for. I've got your back. It's getting so dark in this narrow spot here. It's just the fact that no sun's coming in, nothing else. So back at the loot cave, if we take the wrong turn here. So let's get back in there. I'm gonna check if we have... some tea that might warm us up. So we do have five green birch saplings. That on its own wouldn't be bad, but we also do have three readily cured ones. So how many arrow shots can I take for one round? From so now we have eight. That means twenty-four arrows. Wow, that would be a damn lot.
Another fresh deer hunt. And I actually think we're all ready to go on. We can still go on, of course. So let's just play close attention while we approach if we can hear any wolves. Because I think there's a slight chance that there has been a respawn. By the way, I do believe the moose won't respawn for a pretty long time. carcass is still there, so as long as the carcass is still there, there will be no respawn, guaranteed, I believe. Also, there still don't appear to be any wolves. It's just a one rabbit. Another thing that we can work on while we're still up here in the hunting lodge. Maybe the first thing we will be crafting is something to catch rabbits. Nice juicy rabbits. I mean, must be a small rabbit growth since I only see one damn rabbit. But one rabbit in the tummy is better than none. in the front. Gamey moves meat. Well, gamey means 86%. Well, then, then I'm fine with it if it's 86%. Still a little unhappy I didn't find the second dead wolf. I'm sure it has, how it has to be out there someplace. 30% cured, 20% cured, 12% cured. Cure. 5% cured. 20% cured. <laughs> ah. I'm all right. Thank you for asking. Oh, the green birch saplings. 
I should have just let him be in the other location. I can't put nothing on the stuff before it's lit. Interesting. Didn't know that. I actually did not know that. Come on, little fire. There we go. Totally forgot about my coffee. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. I think I'm just gonna leave it be at one later so far. There we go, that's our bald water that we're gonna continue. So the wolf meat we're Obviously, just cooking for upskilling reasons. So, this one we can eat right away. It's 78 calories, we can take that. No problem. So what can we do in the meantime? Can we do some mending or some crafting? Oh, actually, yeah, that's right. I did want... Uh, I have to wait until the water is done. I wanted to try out some of the tea. Actually, for recovery, I would need, I would require birch bark, wouldn't I? Well, hey, don't have no birch bark with me right now.
Oh no, that's perfect timing for both of them. So just gonna drop the wolf meat outside and I guess then it's time for a nap. Night will be on us pretty soon. And um, we don't want to be out there when it's too cold. So just one last check if there's anything that we need to drop to cure it. Nope, that's all, that's it. So let's get up spiders and get some rest finally. So there we go, that's day one. Very nice. Finally got the well fat bone, so that will help us carry some more weight. We can hopefully keep that going for some time since we still have lots of meat outside. Still not dark, uh, still dark outside. Okay, one last hour. All right. Now it's rise and shine. Come on, you've got to be kidding me. Sun must be almost out. something first. And I actually would be glad to go down here and start some crafting. But I'm pretty sure it's too dark in here, isn't it? Oh! That's a surprise. I'm gonna use the hunting knife, yeah. One hour, one and a half hours. That's good. We're just gonna do it in one quick swoop. Marvelous. Now to craft one arrow. We can only do one.
Okay, now first heat up. We'll have enough outside. Let's have a look at our progress here. Cooking's level two, almost level three. Kirk is harvesting level two. Ice fishing haven't done that yet. Fire starting still level one, okay. Archer level one. But we have gone around to improve it just a little. Firearm, basic, mending basic. So yeah, let's harvest these torches that we don't need anymore. <laughs> the animation takes as long as with all the other stuff that you can do, all the other action. But <laughs> considering this only takes two in-game minutes, it just seems unreasonably long. Okay, I think we're done down here for the time being. Let's check on the stuff we need to cure. Well, of course, I actually do want to take all the stuff. It's just that we can't. Well, we can leave the water here, because water won't get stale. Just harvest this wool scarf, or even maybe better than the toque. Well, you see, it might be, so why don't we just repair it and see for ourselves? actually use a better repair skill so why not just get it by trying to compare these two perfectly so now we can harvest this again nice Okay. 
we're just sewing away. Oh, we're gonna be so nice and cozy when we're done. Aha, uh -huh. so we need no more cloth. Nothing easier than that. Because we do have plenty. I'm just going for a hundred percent in every in every slot here. So sun's already starting to set again. Just get a little bit of fresh air. Take our new bow out for first spin. Yes, we still are on our own. Can't even see bear down there. Alright, that's it. Alright, we have to improve fire making. Yeah. Quote error demonstrandum. Come on now. Come on, little fire. Come on. Here we go. Now back to mending. This will take an hour. Also taken out. Who? No K. 
cured leather, I see. So what else we have? I'm sure so I'm not gonna wear these ones. They are way too heavy. Harvesting also takes one and a half hours. Well, that's insane. One minute sounds reasonable. Just add one more stick, then we're gonna be good. She does look kind of like the auroras blazing outside again. I can carry much more. Well, that's probably because you can't. are back. Well, one at least. Just gonna see what's what. And find out. Ah, there's another one. Oh no, it is actually the one I <laughs> just saw it, I spotted. It. 
So let's sneak up on it while it's feeding on the rabbit. So we can catch both. Nice headshot. Very nice. Wow. Most important part for me would be to retrieve that arrow. But I don't see it. Come in handy. is getting too heavy to carry. Alright, we're still good. Still wondering where might have flung over the ridge here. Maybe it was such a stubborn wolf. Ah. Speaking of stubborn, there's that bear walking about. Oh well, it's gonna be another Aurora night. Just how oh, it's this little fella here. to drop. Fresh gut of course, fresh rabbit pelt, fresh wolf pelt obviously. Exactly. Well, okay, I think we could get go for some bad rest. Tomorrow I'm definitely gonna look for that arrow again. I was feeling so lightheaded because suddenly, all of a sudden, we did have two. And so many birch saplings cured and not cured that even if an arrow broke down, we could just replace it so easily. But now, if one's really gone, all that would have changed all of a sudden.
So, last thing before we go to bed, first thing in the morning, drink something. Okay. Yeah, no. I was just thinking if I should really... If I should really, um... Make the fire inside, considering if it's worth the cabin fever risk. But then again, it's going to be so much faster prepping all the wolf meat right here. Come on, little fire. Perfect. Okay, we still have some meat that we can actually eat. Nope, I think we don't. Just gonna procure a little bit more water because you just can never have enough of it. How should I pass my time? I guess we can tear up more mittens. Oh no! Whew, that was close. That was a real close. Plus... I actually do have more, yeah. minutes and 30 minutes okay so that means we can cook another batch of water 
And we do have to add another stick. Ah, that was two. Damn it. We're getting there, we're getting there. Oh, we st still do have two arrows. Well, now I'm irritated. Well, not that I would mind. Not the least. There's our dead wolf fella. How cold it is. It is pretty cold. It is pretty cold, yes. Just trying to determine if there's any gamey moves here that we might want to chew up first. That's an awful lot of reishi. So this one is fake or what? But then it's finally accessible to us. That's actually a nice place to store some items. Almost as good as right in front of the door. <laughs> All of a sudden it stopped. So let's see that fresh rabbit first. gonna do this.
because I kind of want to take all the stuff here. We're gonna have to walk just a lot of times. There's no way around it. Rifle is not staying here. No matter what. What I do want to avoid wasting any bullets though, so. I think we should definitely be good with a handgun. So let's recap. Don't need a can opener right now. Can leave this. I want to take the coal, definitely. First arrow's always the almost down. So first run I'm taking this moose hide. Yeah, this pack is getting kinda heavy. All the hides actually. Not taking the guts though. We are pretty well over encumbered once again. I can barely walk with this much gear. Minus nineteen degrees again. And wind's picking up already. No, there's nothing happening there. It's just making a lot of noise. Well, there's nothing happening there.
So once we shoot these wolves, we're just gonna leave them right where they die. Just at the very end, I might have this one last. So we can finish our wolfskin jacket. Just like in real life, realism is a bitch, but in winter the nicer the day seems, the nicer it looks, the more freezing it's gonna get. With no damn sky, and no clouds in the sky, the frost just gonna gnaw you away. So let's find out if there's a dead wolf down here. Hmm, there actually isn't. And I'm really starting to wonder where it went. stuff right here. Up we go again. Ha. Huh. Okay. So we're not feeling warm, but we're feeling much better. There might just not be any need. something about the hypothermia. Wow. Okay, right now risk is increasing, but just moderately. But don't worry, we're not gonna let it get out of hand like we did yesterday. That always sounds like a wolf's pretty damn close, but it isn't. They're all down in the valley, where they can't harm us while we're up here. No, 
nothing down there worth the walk. So here's our stack. Okay. So it's actually enough already if we just stay here. Killed. The day is still ours to conquer. Oh, it's actually fully cured. That's neat. That one's cured. That one's cured. Actually, it would have been that one. Okay. Now, once again, out of nowhere, there's fog. Coming up from the west. Temperatures just around zero degrees. So just was I what I was saying. Now the sun's gone. Looks like a damp day. Well, you might want to stay in or just go out if it is if you do have urgent business to do. But then again, it's gotten warmer. There's our stuff. So what did we bring? Cured deer head, cured guts. Just have to put the power supply into my headphones. Done in a jiffy. Descended on us.
Puh. 1.25k in Reishi Mushrooms. Now it's plus two. Weather is shit, but it's plus two degrees. should go for first run today. I'll leave it until tomorrow. I actually do feel like disassembling that one arrow and crafting a new one. Just so I won't uh, be standing there with my pants drop, meaning just one arrow, because this one and nine percent just breaks the first missed shot. So I think the fog might be lifting already, because doesn't seem to be too dense. <sighs> Mystery Lake Lodge. Well, we are nowhere near Mystery Lake. So I wonder which corroded mind has come up with a name. So now this is the front up approach. It's the first time we're entering from this side. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot about the mountaineering rope. Well, that's going to be a heavy lift. Luckily for us, we got pretty much everything else already down there. That's that's really unnecessary, is it? Isn't it? Yeah, but it is. Waste of time, waste of your time, to be honest. Yeah, the rifle that has to go definitely for real. So not over encumbered just yet. We'll be there in a second as we get more tired. Let's check. Did we leave anything down here? Apparently we didn't. So yeah, 
I'm gonna break down this arrow. 9% is no good. So now let's craft another one. Now we should have two at a hundred percent, right? Yep. Marvelous. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Perfect conditions to go for another run. Okay, now the moves is gone too. But like I said, I think that's gonna take a long time to respawn. Oh yeah, well, I'll keep on saying that's right. I don't mind. You've been brave today. I mean, I've, I've been constantly feeding you nice moose meat, but in return, you've actually ceased complaining about being hungry all the time. So maybe there actually is a relation between these two parameters. While I was rewatching a couple of minutes from the video from the stream from last night, I just realized how tense, stupefied I look while gaming. Jaw always hanging a little, just like this, eyes wide open, Staring into the face of death, apparently. I'll have to work on that. Starting right now. Yep, we're getting there. 
almost all our stuff is down here. Actually, it's everything except for the non cured guts, I believe. So, where are them wolfies at? We're just throwing just around here when I went up here. Well, yeah, of course, I could just go around hoping to surprise them. Well, surprisingly, we didn't tear our ankle so far. Do you want to leave the gun? I am going to leave the gun. soon will. Look at her running up that hill. So weather has been good on us the last two to three days, considering how rough it was when we were arriving at Broke Railroad. And we were quick this time. Really quick. Hmm, almost forgot what about all our precious food. Guess we'll have to take that too. There's a deer, meaning there can't be a bear. There's a wolf. Two wolves, actually. Now they are where I first encountered that bear. I do want to keep going. So I'm stinking like hell. This is still a couple of K of moose meat. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear.
too, if this gets too heavy for us, we're just gonna leave a trail of fresh moose meat. Just like the bread crumbles Hansel and Gretchel. We'll leave behind in the forest to find the way back. No, that's not a wolf, is it? No. Just a dead guy or whatever. Stump up a tree, probably. Okay, so once darkness sets, it's gonna be quick. Ah! Now there's another detail that i never seen before. See how this tree looks? Doesn't that usually mean that there is wild boar or other animals around that just rub up against the tree? It's grown colder. Well, okay, I do want to bring all the stuff down there. Then head up here just with a handful of guts so that's at 96%. Cure that readily overnight. what you got me for, baby. Don't worry. I got you back. So that over there is already the maintenance shed, I do believe. Not that far is it, but pretty dense wood in between. We did see a wolf from up there. I can also see a rabbit right there in the distance. A big few in distance for the wind. Just love it when it pays off to have a good, decent PC. The sun is setting. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. side is too important. So 
So yeah, that's what I'm taking. So I'm sorry to tell you guys, but this, when we reach the cave up there, and once we've had a couple of hours of nice, comforting sleep, it's going to be the end of the session for today, because I've really worked up some fatigue from this week's work. So I'm going to try to squeeze in at least 30 minutes more sleep myself and then do another stream tomorrow. Well, then on Friday I'll just manage somehow at work. And hopefully if there's not any more people at work getting sick, getting the flu, I'm going to have the weekend off. Lots of time to recover. One well, on this cave, taking everything into consideration, is hardly any closer <laughs> than the hunting lodge itself, is it? Oh well, never mind. So if you enjoyed watching, and if you are thinking about joining me again tomorrow, why don't you just leave me a follow and get a notification once the session starts tomorrow. There we go, back at the cave. Yeah, now you're starting to freeze. Don't worry, just crawl back in here. Lay out everything that needs curing. Did I just take that one moose hide? Didn't I take the one wolf pelt too? I'm not sure. Well, apparently it didn't. Never mind. Ah, okay, I'm too tired to study. Well, that actually does make sense.
probably it's another Aurora Knight out there. Like nice and comfy, four degrees in the cave. Should drink something first. You never know. You never can be sure enough. Day nine, twenty hours. And it's cold outside. go. Gonna sneak in another hour of sleep. So now we probably do have to make a fire, right? Yep. Because now it's pretty damn freezing. Starting okay, but like I said, that's it for today. Thank you very much for joining me. And I hope I am going to see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye and take care, fellas.